Welcome to episode 10 of South Holston River Fly Shop Fly Tying Videos. I'm your host, Josh McFadden. Today we're going to be tying a Blue Wing Olive soft tackle. And we're going to be using a size 18 TMC. We're going to be using the brown vinyl rib that we've been using so often. It's really great. And a little bit of olive super fine dubbing. And a partridge hackle, along with our brown UTC thread. Let's get to tying. All right, guys, we are uh, tying the blue wing soft tackle that you see here, and uh, that's what it, we're hoping it's going to look like. Go ahead and put my TMC ninety three hundred number eighteen in the vise. Okay, and. Start my. I've got dark brown thread and 70 to near. One thing that's great about this stuff is just how flat it lays. Start a thread layer there. Now we're going to use the ever so popular brown vinyl rib. Tie it in. I've got a little bit of thread twist. Now when you when that happens, just spin your bobbin counterclockwise and uh, that should take it right out. Um, as you wrap over and over um, with your thread, your, your thread does have a tendency to twist and so every once in a while you really do need to take the time to unwrap it. Okay, I'm going to wrap my body with uh, our vinyl rib. Again, checking to make sure which direction we want it to go. We want the rib to go up so we're going to go over the top. And uh, this is an 18, but you can tie this fly in smaller sizes too. Um, really a shorter shank, 18, would be um, a pretty good way to go too. Um, so, either way is fine. Um, if you're trying to represent smaller bugs, you go smaller hook. So. Um, so there we've got that, got that tied in. Okay. Got a rib there. Now we just need a little bit of our olive dubbing, olive super fine dubbing. We really just want to create a ball, uh, just with a wisp or two of dubbing, uh, a kind of a ball that can uh, that the hackle can push against whenever uh, whenever it's undulating in the water. Something that'll kick it back a little bit, and um, also for really giving us the impression of the thorax here. This is good. Okay. Cover back over my transition point there a little bit. Alright. See how that is there? Alright. Now, the more tricky part is always finding an 18 on your uh, on your partridge cape. Okay. And so, one of the best places to look is up here in the neck, okay, where these grays are. And uh, if you can, this one has been pretty well picked through, but you can get in there and find, you know, one that's gonna it's gonna do the job. All the fibers don't need to be that size because really we're only gonna have one wrap of this soft tackle. So um, this feather should should do the trick nicely. Um, it's not as though, you know, we're tying it in by the tip, so we're not really um, going to be tying with this stuff that's at the base of the feather any longer. So that's the that's the key to tying small soft tackles. Okay. Tied in by the tip. Can leave the tip extending out over the eye there. Okay. I'm going to trim that excess up. Now, uh, this next portion really bears some um, explaining. Um, if you're not familiar with tying soft tackles, what you really need to do is um, tie it in by the tip like we've done and then uh, stroke these fibers, kind of coax the fibers on both sides of the feather towards the rear of the hook. 
okay and basically what we're going to do on some patterns you would go with more but we're just going to stroke them back like this and then rotate the hook around we're looking for one full turn okay and some of them will kick out um, and uh, not be facing the direction that we're that we're wanting sometimes but we can fix that in a jiffy so we've tied that off there and um, a wrap in front of the hackle too will be good and I'm just going to trim that hackle up the, the excess there the stem now I've got these hackles kind of going every which way um, but you just stroke them back hold them back there and uh, tidy up your head and uh, what what happens is you have these these hackles now spread out and they're all around the shank here because we've wrapped them around and uh, they really do a good job of uh, kind of encasing the fly okay uh, one problem that people uh, come into with with soft hackling flies and even even on the commercial patterns that you see they're overdressed um, they've taken a soft hackle and they've made two two or more turns um, with the feather and really um, those of us who fish soft tackles often know that that that's just not that's not going to cut the mustard so um, we really want just the impression out here of some legs that are you know wrapped around the hook 360 okay and I've got one little straggler that's out there in the front and this is a great little soft tackle because it kind of it's got that segmentation going for it it looks like uh, that there's a blooming uh, trying to emerge from uh, its nymph so uh, you know this is going to be a great fly to swing uh, you can swing this uh, by itself you can put this under a dry and at the end of your drift uh, use a lysen ring lift and uh, you know just kind of hold on to your fly hold on to your rod just raise the rod tip up high as at the end of your drift and a lot of times there'll be a fish right there um, great little pattern during the blueing hatch tie some up happy time